Hello everyone. Today's lecture is about bacterial cell structure and function. As we know that bacteria has different moieties, structures or parts and each part has their individual function and they, they are very important for the survival of bacteria. So we will study uh, each part here. But in this lecture, we will focus on the outer coverings or the outer layers. So whether they are the organal cytoplasm, genetic material or the outer coverings of the bacterial cell, they have very important role in bacteria's life. Talking about the outer layer capsule, then we have cell wall represented in yellow color, then the cytoplasm membrane. They are collectively known as cell envelope. Some people consider the capsule as a part of cell envelope and some not. But these are the outer coverings present in the bacteria cell. Uh, there is an additional layer in the case of gram-negative bacteria that is the outer membrane which is present outside of the cell wall. So it would be present between the capsule or slime layer or and the cell wall. So in this lecture we will focus on these parts of the bacteria starting with the capsule or slime layer. Capsule is the large component present outside of the bacteria and both capsule and slime layer are made up of polysaccharide. But the capsule has very well organized polysaccharide network or layer whereas the slime layer has looser polysaccharide network present. As capsules are very uh, well organized they are not easy to get washed and this gives the capsule the major virulence factor or this makes the bacteria virulent and it also protects the bacteria from different foreign substances like white blood cells so what white blood cells do they phagocytose the bacteria so capsule also help in the protection of bacteria from phagocytosis but when we look at this slime layer the bacteria it helps the bacteria to adhere to the foreign substances to form slime layers or biofilm. So in this case, the bacteria gets adhered to the foreign substances, whether they are catheter or the tubes inserted uh, into the human body for medical purpose or anything. You can look uh, into this picture and see that capsule has a very well defined boundary, whereas the slime layer has loose structure. Some of the example of encapsulated bacteria, there are many, like a Clapsilla, E. coli, there are many, but some for which the vaccines are available include Streptococcus pneumonia, Haemophilus influenza type B, and Neisseria meningitis. Whereas the Pseudomonas are an example for the slime layer. Again talking about this envelope, it is a complex multi-layered structure that uh, provide protective and adaptive role. It has three basic principal layers that is the inner membrane, cell wall and the outer membrane. As I have mentioned before, uh, I have written if present means it is only present in gram negative bacteria. And there is also a capsule or slime layer, some consider it as, also, uh, as a part of the cell envelope. So what is its role? Its role is to provide the cell integrity, shape or structure. So you can see here the gram positive bacteria, it has a thick pepto peptidoglycan. Both have peptidoglycan but it has a thick layer of peptidoglycan and also there is no outer membrane present in the gram positive bacteria. Whereas in gram negative bacteria, there is an outer membrane, then peptidoglycan and then plasma membrane. So it, uh, uh, there is a space between the outer and inner, inner membrane known as periplasm and there is also a small space some people also consider this space as periplasm as well so starting from the outermost layer the capsule now we will move uh, towards the outer membrane the outer membrane of the bacteria is present only in gram negative type of bacteria. Okay? Only the gram negative bacteria has this outer membrane, as I've mentioned at the start of the lecture. So it is made up of phospholipid, 
which has a grizzly's roll head and the fatty acid tail hope you can uh, see this picture clearly so there are protein represented in uh, green color here the porins are the protein that help in the transport of drugs or molecules or substrates in and out of the bacteria all right then an other structure that is present in outer membrane is exotoxin okay one is the porin that is protein structure then exotoxin which is lps also known as lipopolysaccharide so this has this lipopolysaccharide or endotoxin present in outer membrane has three parts lipid a core polysaccharide which is a polymer of sugar molecule or o antigen all right so these three parts o antigen core oligosaccharide and lipid a these are the part of lps or endotoxin which is present in the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria core oligosaccharide does not have any uh, significant role but the other two plays very important role in the bacteria's uh, function or life lipid a it activates the particular type of cells like white blood cell macrophages neutrophils to produce interleukin 1 interleukin 6 um, tum tumor necrotic factor a that causes sepsis or septic reactions like they cause fever blood clots hypertension vasodilation massive uh, inflammatory reactions all these happen due to this lipid a present in outer membrane of gram negative bacteria after this we have core oligosaccharide doesn't have many uh, any significant role then we have o antigen we know when immune system activates it produces antibodies right so antibodies attacks the bacteria so this is the site where the antibodies attaches to the bacterial cell all right so lipid a produce activates particular types of macrophages whereas the o antigen antigen is a part where the antibodies gets attached to the bacterial cell then we have cell wall the chemical composition of cell wall includes peptidoglycan peptide is for protein region and glycan is for the sugar moiety so glycan has two components to the sugar moieties or you can say monomers that is nag and nam so nag nam and pentapeptide these monomers collectively make peptidoglycan right so the chains of glycanes or nam nag chains they are interlinked or cross linked with the help of peptide bridges nag is an acetyl glucose amine and nam is an acetyl muramic acid mur uh, muramic acid all right so these chains glycane chains are linked together through peptide bridges so they basically what they do they polymerize to form the sugar backbone nag and nam polymerize to form sugar backbone cross link through peptide bridges so there is a penicillin binding protein which has enzyme peptidase enzyme what do peptidase in and uh, what peptidase enzyme do it cross links the chains and makes the cell wall so it basically gives strength to the cell wall by linking them together and this enables the bacteria to resist the osmotic pressure or osmotic lysis so there is nam and nag which are the two components or the moieties of the glycane sugar moiety okay monomers of glycane they in, they make a chain and the chains are interlinked through peptide bridges but in the case of gram positive bacteria there are two structures uh, present or you can say two uh, parts present in peptidoglycan Pepto peptidoglycan is basically present in both gram positive and negative bacteria but only in gram positive bacteria we have lipoticoic acid and ticoic acid which have which are homologous to the lps that is present in the outer membrane of the gram negative bacteria so lipopoly lipoticoic acid it extends down to the cytoplasmic membrane and 
ਸਟਿਕੋਇਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਅਪਰ ਪੋਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਪੈਪਟਾਈਡੋਗਲਾਈਕਿਨ ਇਟ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਐਕਸਟੈਂਡਸ ਡਾਊਨ ਸੋ ਲਿਪੋਟਿਕੋਇਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਇਟ ਹੈਜ਼ ਦੀ ਹੋਮੋਲੋਗਸ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹੋਮੋਲੋਗਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਐਲਪੀਐਸ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਹੈਜ਼ ਹੋਮੋਲੋਗਸ ਰੋਲ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਲਿਪਿਡ ਏ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਦੇ ਡੂ ਲਿਪੋਟਿਕੋਇਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਇਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਸਟਿਮੂਲੇਟਸ ਦੀ ਔਰ ਐਕਟੀਵੇਟਸ ਦੀ certain types of macrophages interleukin 1 6 actin tumor necrotic factor which causes sepsis uh, that causes fever blood clots hypotension vasodilation and so on so here we'll have a brief um, you can say difference between the gram positive and gram negative bacteria from what we have studied so far starting with cell wall uh, single layered in gram positive and double layered in gram negative as it has outer membrane also then cell wall thickness it is more in gram positive at it, it as it has thicker peptidoglycan that is 20 to 80 nanometer and 8 to 10 nanometer in gram negative and it has thinner peptidoglycan layer then lipoticoic and ticoic acid is present in gram positive whereas lps lipopolysaccharide is present in gram negative as uh, and also the outer membrane is present in gram negative lipid content is more in gram negative that is 20 to 30% whereas it is low in gram positive then resistant to antibiotics uh, gram positive are susceptible to antibiotic whereas gram negative are resistant more resistant as we know it has the outer membrane additional membrane which makes them more resistant to the anti- uh, antibiotics this is the microscopic picture of the gram positive negative bacteria purple for the gram positive and pink from the for the gram negative bacteria so the overall function of the cell wall is it provides the rigidity and shape to the cells so as we know we have different shapes like cocci and bacilli or the mixture of these shapes like coco bacilli and spirillum vibrio so all these shapes are possible because of this cell wall as it gives it the rigidity and it also protects the cell membrane from the osmotic uh or the mechanical pressures helps in the movement of gases and it also contains antigens that evade the immune system It means that uh, help them to survive in the immune systems then we have periplasm um i have told you about this uh, in the start it is a space between the outer membrane and inner membrane of the gram negative bacteria if we look into the definition the periplasm will only be present in the gram negative bacteria but some also consider them it present in the gram positive bacteria but it is very small region whereas it is an extensive region in the gram negative bacteria so in gram negative bacteria the periplasm contain beta lactamase so what does it do it uh, inhibit the action of penicillin and what is penicillin penicillin is an antibiotic which kills the bacteria so beta lactamase inhibit the penicillin to attach to the penicillin binding proteins so basically it uh, protects the bacteria against the penicillin or the antibiotic then after periplasm or you can say after the um, cell wall the innermost layer that is present is cytoplasmic membrane or the inner membrane which is composed of protein and phospholipid protein portion is more that it is present in the 3 ratio 1 protein and phospholipid all right and um, also a phospholipid bilayer uh, with having proteins in more quantity so what does the protein do they perform different functions they help in the transport in the biosynthesis energy transductions respiration photosynthesis so there are many functions that these proteins perform so these are all the collective functions of the cytoplasmic membrane and also you know that cytoplasmic membrane is present in both gram positive and gram negative bacteria right then we have a penicillin binding protein which has a domain transpeptidase and we have studied the transpeptidase what it do it makes the cell wall it cross link the backbone and stabilizes the cell wall so it is very important in the making of the cell wall and in the survival of the bacteria or the growth of the bacteria all right so here we end this topic thank you so much hope you like the video and stay tuned for the next part of the video 
टिल देन गुड बाय प्लीज़ लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल